Hey everyone, welcome back to another video in the Art Sessions series. Today I'll be painting some scenes from the movie Dil Bechara. This series is just my usual painting process but longer. And here I talk more about other stuff and less about the painting or drawing process itself. So if you don't want to hear me ramble, feel free to mute this video and put on something else and paint along with me. Painting movie scenes can help with understanding color, composition and perspective. And it's just great practice for learning how backgrounds work if that's what you're focusing on which is what I'll be doing in this video today. I tape the sides of the paper just to prevent it from buckling and not the sides of the actual painting itself in order, in order to get a more painterly look. As you may know, Dil Bechara is a movie that is based on a novel called The Fault in Our Stars by John Green. There's also a Hollywood movie with the same name as the book. I watched Dil Bechara last week and while I do understand the positive response to the movie and why so many people loved it, personally, I liked the movie fine. I thought it was okay. There are a number of reasons why it was a little meh for me and I'll talk about them in a bit. So hear me out. <laughs> a couple things to consider here. I really believe that the book is always better than the movie, no matter how well the movie is made, because there are a lot of interesting little details in books that can't be included in the movie, movie obviously due to limited time. Having said that, I do always appreciate a good remake that mostly stay, stays true to the book. In this case, I had already read The Fault in Our Stars and I've also watched the Hollywood movie a few times as well, so I already knew what was going to happen. So it was a little bit boring for me to watch it again, but I did manage to watch the full movie because it was really well made. Except for a few things. <laughs> no spoilers, don't worry. but. If there will be one, I'm going to give a spoiler alert and there'll also there will also be like a time skip thing somewhere on the screen so make sure you look out for that. Or you can just mute the video till the time mentioned. Also quick disclaimer, please keep in mind that these are just some things that I personally didn't like. They are just my opinions and most of it is just me comparing some things with the book and sulking over it and everyone is entitled to their own opinion as long as it's not hurting anyone. It might seem silly but the first thing and this was something that bugged me a lot was the fact that Kizzy had a favorite song or album and a favorite musician instead of a favorite book and an author like Hazel had in the book. And I understand that you know the writers had to take some creative liberty, but that didn't really do it for me. I was really upset about that. <laughs> and then there was... Okay, spoiler alert. Go to this time if you haven't watched the movie yet. I'm waiting. Okay, you done? <laughs> Uh, then there was the meeting with her favorite musician and that part also felt a little off to me. It was quite short and it felt very rushed. So it almost felt a little comical to me <laughs> for some reason. Also it wasn't mentioned anywhere that it was his secretary or his assistant who was actually the one who made all the arrangements for the two of them, which is what happens in the book. And if it wasn't the case in the movie, then why did the musician invite, invite them if he wanted to treat them this way? I don't think it was probable that he just invited them just so he could be mean to them because, you know, he was, he was actually a good person. 
Now, these are just few of the things that I didn't like about the movie. Now, coming to the things that I did like was... The first one was obviously the scenes. The entire film was so beautiful. The places, the shots and just the general aesthetic was so pretty. And every time I saw a lovely scene, I was just like, oh, I want to paint that. <laughs> Hence this video. And the movie was filmed in Jamshedpur, which is actually my hometown. So there was that personal connection there as well. It was also interesting to see how the quote-unquote Indianness of the parents was depicted in the film. That was really fun to watch. Then the songs, of course, were just amazing. And that is to be expected because, you know, A.R. Rahman. By the way, there were very few times when they actually said okay to each other, which was a relief, to be honest. <laughs> and lastly, the ending. I felt that the ending was really beautifully shown. I think that no matter how many times or how many versions of the book I watch, that plotline always gets me. Every time. I'm usually not someone who cries while watching movies, but I did get a little emotional at the end. <laughs> So those are my thoughts on Dil Bechara. Thank you for listening to my 5 minute movie rant. <laughs> Let's talk a little bit about the paintings here. I did mention it in my previous tiger painting video but I finally got a brand new set of poster colors and thus also got an opaque white paint with it. If, uh, if you've been on my channel for a while. I have always been using white watercolor paint for the detailing and the highlights and while that also gets the job done, it does require quite a bit of layering to get some level of opacity. But opaque white paint just glides like butter on the paper. <laughs> of course, these paintings were just meant to be studies and not finished pieces. So I only paid more attention to the things that I personally, personally felt made the background stand out to me and what I wanted to study in that scene. Like for the first painting, it was that road and that one point perspective of the scene. And for the second one, it was the bus kind of framing that scene there. I really loved that scene a lot. I think that was my favorite scene in the movie. Also, painting scenes like this makes you see so many details that you cannot see at one glance from the movie or even from the picture itself. I had so much fun with these studies. It was really very therapeutic and de delightful to paint. Of course, it also showed me that I definitely need to work on a ton of stuff as well. <laughs> well, that's it for today. If you made it till here, how did you manage? <laughs> but thank you so much for watching the whole video. I hope you painted or drew along with me. If not, I hope you just enjoyed watching this video and hanging out with me. Please leave a thumbs up if you liked it and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. I hope you have a great day and a great week ahead of you and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!